Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. I'm Rebecca, and today we're going to make a festive holiday punch and a cranberry citrus ice that will go inside of that punch. It's a really cute looking and great tasting beverage to have during the holiday season or even New Year's. And it's a wonderful non-alcoholic option to have for your gatherings. So first what we're going to do today is set up making our cranberry citrus ice then I'll go over what I like to add for making my holiday punch. So let's head to the kitchen and create our cranberry citrus ice. So here I have a silicone pan and I bought this many many years ago. I can see if I can find a similar one on Amazon or someplace where you guys can purchase one. Otherwise you could do a silicone six inch cake pan and that would be probably a similar size pan for creating your ice blocks. So in this, I'm going to make four different ice blocks and I'll put one in at a time in my punch bowl. And as it melts, the ingredients that I put in with the water, then those ingredients remain in the punch and add flavor and a really cute garnish for your holiday punch. So first what you want to do is thinly slice up a grapefruit and a couple of oranges. And then in each of these wells, I put two pieces of grapefruit And when I cut up my citrus fruit, I like to do a slice or two off of the ends and discard that so then you don't have the really thick white pith in your slices of the fruit. Next we'll add our thinly sliced oranges. So I have three slices of orange that I'll put into each well. And you want the citrus sliced pretty thinly so that once the ice melts, then the, this will remain in your punch. You don't want really large pieces of fruit. Next we'll add some whole cranberries and these can be fresh or frozen. So I just put a small handful into each of the wells. And then I fill each one of these with water. As you can see, the cranberries are floating, the oranges are floating, and the grapefruit is as well. But they'll stay on different levels and layers once it becomes a nice frozen ice block. go. And now since this is a silicone pan, I have this on a rimmed baking pan and that way the silicone reservoirs will have a nice sturdy base for putting this into the freezer. I like to make this at least two days ahead of time. One, just to get it taken care of and out of the way and two, to make sure everything's nice and solidly frozen for our punch. So let me put this into the freezer so I can freeze for us and then I will show you the ingredients that I like to use for making my holiday punch. So here are most of the ingredients that I like to include when making my holiday punch. So I like to do two liter bottles of soda. So I have a squirt soda which is a caffeine free grapefruit flavored soda. And I also have some cherry 7-up. You could also do plain 7-up or any lemon lime soda that you prefer. Ginger ale also works very well for making the holiday punch. And then I like to include some cranberry juice. I like to use 100% juice for this, as well as some orange juice. Then I like to pour in about a cup or so of fresh or frozen cranberries. And optionally, you can also add a stick or two of cinnamon. So I like to purchase the full bottles and then you can refill as needed. It really depends on how large your punch bowl is. If you'll make one big serving and use most of it or if not you can make fresh ones as needed to replenish your holiday punch throughout your gathering time. So I like to do about one cup of the cranberry juice, one cup of the orange juice, and then fill with the sodas. Then I also use the reserved sliced grapefruit and oranges left over from creating the cranberry citrus ice blocks and I put them in as a garnish as well. So again for the cranberry citrus ice 
that will go inside of this holiday punch. I'll try to find a silicone pan similar to what I use. It works very well, makes the perfect size ice blocks for this type of a beverage in my particular punch bowl. But if you can't find one like that, maybe a four or six inch silicone cake pan or even a silicone muffin pan and just put three or four ice blocks inside of whatever reservoir you're using for your punch. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen where we made this non-alcoholic beverage for the holidays. This holiday punch works fantastic from Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and beyond. It also would be great during other times of the year for a brunch or evening gathering. It's a nice non-alcoholic option that has a festive flair to it as well. And when you use that cranberry citrus ice, it helps to keep your punch nice and cold and then as it melts away, it adds some more garnish to make your punch even prettier. Well, if you'd like more ideas or inspiration on recipes and homemade gifts that would be great during the holiday season, you can check out my playlists and videos on the topics. Well, if you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate you subscribing. And if you enjoy this or any other video that you watch, please give it a thumbs up. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic day. See you next time. Take care.